For electrical assemblies, there are two options for creating 2D documentation. The first option is to create a standard three-view drawing of the wire harness exactly as it appears in the model. This is done by the exact same process you would use to create any other SOLIDWORKS drawing. Here, I'll create an isometric view of this simple wire harness and insert a bill of materials. While the standard drawing and a bill of materials is helpful, they don't convey the electrical data necessary to properly document and manufacture the harness. To properly document this electrical route, a harness board, or also commonly referred to as a nail board, is required. Now fortunately, SOLIDWORKS routing has the capability to quickly create a harness board from the route model and also provide additional electrical data such as a wiring summary, harness bill of materials, from to data, and pin connections. For this lesson, I've gone ahead and created an electrical assembly with its cables and wires defined. But now, instead of creating a new drawing, I'll instead begin a wiring summary. To do this, I'll go to the routing drop-down menu, electrical, harness, and select wiring summary. On the left-hand side, under the Property Manager, we're prompted to select our route assembly. In this case, I only have one route available. And since this is the first time I'm creating a drawing for this route, I'll leave this Recreate Drawing option unchecked. Also, you have the option of specifying a drawing template by clicking on this Browse button here. For now, I'll leave the default template on and click the green check. Automatically, we're now editing a drawing more specifically, as specified by this tab, a harness board drawing. The route is displayed as straight lines, ending at each connector. Dimensions are also included that define the wire or cable length between the connectors. These dimensions are defined by the modeled route, so are driven dimensions. In addition, as you probably also noticed, each connector displays corresponding graphical representation for the wire colors for each of the pin connections. As of right now, the harness drawing is still free to move. To fix this, I'll position the drawing and use the point to add a fixed relation. When I do, the sketch turns black, meaning the sketch is fully constrained. Let me point out some options before moving on. If a wire is too long and runs off the page, you have the option of splitting a segment and repositioning the segments to fit. Under the routing menu, Electrical, Harness, I'll select Split Segment. I can define the split point by specifying segment lengths, or I can select a point from the graphics area. Once I click OK, the segment is broken up into two, with two corresponding dimensions. I'll highlight this segment and delete any relations. Now, the segment is free to move. I'll just add a new vertical relation to position it, and the sketch is defined. You can also adjust the size of a connector by clicking on it, and under the parameters box, adjusting the scale. Another useful option is the ability to perform design rule checks. This is found from under the harness menu. This option checks for any errors with the connectors, wires, or terminals. I'll deselect Missing Package and all Missing Properties. When I click OK, SOLIDWORKS lets me know that all checks have passed. If you remember, I had mentioned that a harness board consists of a wiring summary as well as a harness report. Up to this point, we've completed the wiring summary. Let's move on to creating a harness report. 